hello again all right so this is a video of the new fall 2024 pampered chef doodads i've done one with the baking uh the brilliance bakewares and i've done one with the new coffee and tea stuff and then this is just i kind of went through and stuff that was interesting to me something uh, stuff i know i will use personally so i ordered it and this is kind of the the uh miscellaneous things so first off I ordered the basil pesto I know I said that I don't like making buying pre-mixed stuff I do like pre-mixed pampered chef spices they're normally fantastic I really don't have anything bad to say about them their Greek seasoning is currently my my current absolute obsession so one of the first things, uh, this is the Pivoting Peeler. So I'm starting off, I promise. So peeling carrots or potatoes or whatever you do. And then there's a lot of people, myself included, that suffer from carpal tunnel, that suffer from geeker veins tenosynovitis, that suffer from... CMC, arthritis, RA, all kinds of different things. And sometimes uh, holding and using an implement a certain way hurts and you can't do it. So this might be easier. Isn't that neat? I just love how this works. I'm literally just taking it out of the box. I haven't read anything on it. Whatever. I like that it comes with a safety cap, which, I mean, most people probably just lose right away, myself included. But the thought is there. But this is brilliant. And the other thing, a lot of people will message me and saying, do you have a left-handed kitchen sear shears? Not calling you out or anything. I know you just messaged me last weekend and made me think of this. Um, or left-handed whatever and can opener every single implement that pamper chef sells is left or right hand useful the woman who developed pamper chef is left-handed so she made sure and she still makes sure because she's still here she's still big into the business every single thing is dual-handed that's cool so this just came out, Pivoting Peeler. Looking forward to using that. Find some root vegetables this weekend and get those cleaned up. Next is the Cup Zester. Cup Zester, yeah. I love the grating things, zesting things. I'm always looking for something that works better than the last thing. So this is... Okay, so this is what it looks like when it comes out of the packaging. How do we do it? Okay. Okay, so I had it upside down. I'm thinking you probably do your zesting, right? And then, oh, if you go on the back here, you can see there's measurements. So it calls for two tablespoons of lemon zest. You zest your lemon, maybe, but I feel like there's maybe more to it. Ooh, okay, I got it. Let me see. It also comes with a, a holder. So I would cut my lemon or my lime or my nutmeg or whatever, and I would hold it. Go in, measure, find out how much it is, open the thing, and then dump out. Very cool. There's nothing worse than getting your skin and bleeding into your zest or cheese or whatever. So that is the cup zester. And I'll definitely be trying that out. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll see what I can find out for you. All right. Next one is the nesting spoon rest set. They looked very pretty in the catalog. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Big one and a small one. I was 
gonna do a really neat too. That, but yeah, a big one and a small. Oh, and they're they're like ceramic. They're not plastic. They're not gonna melt when you accidentally put them on an element. I haven't done that never. All right. So and it's this one's elongated. It's got a shallow for the handle. And and same with this one. A little bit bigger. And it's a really pretty blue. I'm impressed, Pamper Chef. I think we're going to use this very much. I wonder if they'll come up with other colors. All right. Now, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Pamper Chef has come up with a kitchen towel set. I am a diehard Norwex fan. I don't sell it. I probably should, but I don't. I have been using it for 20 years, if a day. Same kind of, I fell in love with it around the same time that I fell in love with Pamper Chef. So now Pamper Chef is going in to kitchen towels. I'm going to be harsh. I'm going to be picky. Oh, they feel nice. Oh, <laughs> this towel is luxurious. I might use it for my hands and my face and heck with the kitchen. This is beautiful. Can you make bath towels next? Um, but we'll see how it holds up. I'm going to be ruthless on this because like I said, I am a Norwex fan. So I believe there's supposed to be microfiber and all that jazz. Okay. We're just going to have to see. I reserve judgment. I have to be fair. Uh, the towel or the cloth is reminiscent of the uh, the counter cloths or Norwex on the front, and then you switch over to the back, and it's like a Brillo pad scratch, a little bit more abrasive. I'm I'm. I don't know. I'm interested. I will give it a fair try and I will give you fair answers because like I said, I love Pampered Chef, but I love Norwex and I'm a bit of a freak when it comes to cleaning. So we'll see what happens. Okay, quickly, new uh, mixes that Pampered Chef has come out with that I wanted to try. They've come out with a few others. I'll list them in the comments, but uh, these are the ones I wanted to try, knew I would eat. Uh, pizza crust. Heck yeah. Uh, I'm willing to try it. I've got a great recipe that I use for pizza crust, but if we can make it easier, let's give it a try. We'll see. I'll let you know. Shortbread cookies. This is in time for Christmas, I know. Uh, there's some really cool Christmas seasonal stuff that's going to be coming out. I'm very excited to see it, very excited for you to see it, but this is a bit of a taster. So this is cool. Looking forward to trying that. And then sweet cornbread. I like cornbread. I'm not sure about sweet cornbread, but I'm willing to give it a try and I'll give it an honest review. So this is the new stuff that I ordered. Uh, I can comment, I can get back to you on things. Oh, I almost forgot about the biggest surprise, the thing I'm most excited about. I know this is getting long, I apologize, but uh, we knew that they were going to start coming out with attachments for the uh, the mixer, the, the standing mixer. I didn't think they would do this so soon and I am so excited. They have come out with... Da, 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 pasta maker attachments. Uh, I can make my noodles again. I had one of these for my KitchenAid. There's nothing wrong with KitchenAid, but when Pepper Chef came out with their stand mixer, I had my Fancy Pants KitchenAid, and I'm selling Pepper Chef. Ultimately, they were very, very similar, but I chose to sell my KitchenAid because the Pepper Chef is quieter, and it had the silicone pa paddle that I really, really like. But otherwise, there's nothing wrong. It's just a choice I made. And uh, for me, Pepper Chef made more sense. So I got rid of it. But that meant all my attachments that I have 
are no longer usable. So, but they've come out now. Yay! So I'm going to be trying this out, maybe not next weekend, but some, or this weekend, but sometime soon. And uh, I, again, I don't have my hens. I can't make the egg noodles that we used to make, but store-bought eggs work. There's nothing wrong with them. It's fine. I can do it. And uh, when I open the package, it comes with a basic pasta recipe. So, I mean, this is a great start. I'm excited. This is getting my mojo back. I I don't like cooking in the summer. I just, too hot, so gross, whatever. But it's fall, it's cool. You want the warmth, you want the comfort. I'm getting excited. So, if you have any questions, if you want to book a party, if you want to order something, whatever, give me a shout.